Pitt and Notre Dame have played some classic contests. This series has been going on since 1909. It, it does span well over a century. And I think you could build a whole wing in the College and Pro Football Hall of Fame based solely on players who have played in the Pitt Notre Dame series. Across the generations, it goes way back to the teens when Pop Warner was here as head coach, when Jock Sutherland was here as head coach. Fast forward to more modern times, Tony Dorsett as an individual against Notre Dame is legendary. And then some of that flavor has uh, caught up into the 21st century. If you look at the last several games, they are instant classics. The 2008 game with four overtimes. Clawson going deep. And oh. The game obviously didn't start out the way we wanted it to. But like anything, it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. You know, a lot of things happened. Brinkers came on, we weren't playing well. Sprinklers always supposed to go on after the game is over. They forgot to regulate for overtime. It's definitely, I'd say, one of the the top five games in my career so far that it holds a little special meaning to me because so far we're the longest game to ever play at the University of Notre Dame. To win the game, it is good! The Pittsburgh Panthers come into Notre Dame Stadium in the longest game ever played here and they win in the fourth overtime. Tyler Palco's five touchdown passes under touchdown Jesus in 2004. Back is Palco. He looks, he pumps, he looks again, he pumps, he goes to the end zone. We got a touchdown for the Panthers! Palco is back, throws it to the right side. Touchdown, Panthers! Greg Lee! Play action big, Palco's back. At the time, sometimes when things occur, you don't realize how special or what kind of meaning it has until later on. But I mean, definitely it's a phenomenal feat that Tyler achieved there. He definitely was a great player. Now a look off by Falco. Scrambles right out of the pocket. Look, throws it on the run. Touchdown, Panthers! A terrific job by Tyler Falco. Back is Falco. Blitz. Throws Eric Gill. Touchdown! And the Panthers punch it in and leapfrog the Irish. One that will always stick out because of its historic significance is November 13th, 1999. Last game at Pitt Stadium. You had a Pittsburgh kid score the final touchdown. Kevin Barlow. Herman turns and gives to his tailback, and we've got a Panther touchdown, and we have Bedlam at Penn Stadium. The Panthers get the hand off to Barlow, and it's lights out. The party's over. We had another Pittsburgh kid, Rob Butler, who was the last guy to get his hands on the football. Throwing from the end zone, the pass will be broken up in the end zone, and the Panthers win the football game. The clock never hit zero that night. They had to call the game because the crowd had rushed the field. And the crowd is on the field and they're going after the goalpost with nine seconds left. And I think we've just seen the end of Penn Stadium's illustrious history. The goalposts are being shaken. The student section, the 12th man is out there. They're trying to clear the field, but this ball game is over. and snap, he looks left, fires a pass, and that is a blown up screen. Reese, play action fake, he's gonna throw it. Side steps the rush, throws it for a wide open man, intercepted! It's a brawl, it's a fight. Every, 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 every time we play him, we, we always try to get the better of each other, you know. We, we always try to beat each other down. It's, it's, this is a real game right here. I just remember one of the things that uh, Johnny Major said. He said, you better gear up to play because we're going to play against every ghost, everybody that's ever played there. And that's what it's like. So you really have to be mentally prepared to play. He's back, big blitz. He's hit it sack inside the 20. He fumbled the football. Just being back here is great because, you know what, I had a lot invested because I did play here. 
So it's important to me and I love the school and so I, I really want to see us do well but at the same time it's just great going back there because I got some fond memories and uh, I think the kids will be geared up and ready to go for that game. It's crazy, I love, you know, it's, it's a good experience, you know. A lot of people don't get a chance to experience, you know, being in that kind of stadium, legendary stadium, a lot of things happen there, a lot of history there, but just strap up and be ready, that's it.